Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Saturday, December 5th. It's the first week in Advent, and the scripture for this service. Psalm 116, and Amos 5, verse 18 to 27. And please join me in singing the second verse of Come Thou, Come Thou Long Expected Jesus, by Charles Wesley, to the tune of Stuttgart. Israel, strength and consolation, hope of all the earth you are, dear desire of every nation, joy of every longing heart. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I love you, my God, because you have heard my voice and supplications. Psalm 116, and please recite it with me. I love you, my God, because you heard my voice and supplications, because you have inclined your ear to me. I will call upon you as long as I live. The sorrows of death encircled me, and the pains of hell grabbed me. I found trouble and sorrow. Then I called upon your name. O oh God, I implore you, save my life. You are gracious and righteous, and you are merciful. You preserve the innocent. I was brought low, and you helped me. My soul can return to peace. For you have dealt bountifully with me. For you have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. I will walk before you in the land of the living. I believed even when I said I was greatly afflicted. In my haste I said all the children of the earth are liars. What shall I give you for all your blessings to me? I will take the cup of salvation and call upon your name, my God. I will pay my vows to you now in the presence of all your people. Precious in your sight is the death of your saints. Truly, I am your servant and the child of your handmaid, and you have freed me from my bonds. I will offer you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon your name. I will pay my vows to you now in the presence of all your people. In the courts of your house, in your midst, O Jerusalem, I praise you, my God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I love you, my God, because you heard my voice and supplications. A reading from the prophet Amos, chapter 5, beginning at verse 18. Alas, for you who desire the day of the Most High. Why do you want the day of the Most High? It is darkness, not light, as if someone fled from a lion and was met by a bear, or went into the house and rested a hand against the wall and was bitten by a snake. Is not the day of the Most High darkness, not light and gloom with no brightness in it? I hate, I despise your festivals, and I take no delight in your solemn assemblies, even though you offer me your burnt offerings and grain offerings. I will not accept them. And the offerings of well-being of your fatted animals, I will not look upon. Take away from me the noise of your songs. I will not listen to the melody of your harps. But let justice roll down like waters and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. Did you bring, me, bring to me sacrifices and offerings the forty years in the wilderness, O house of Israel? You shall take up Sakuth, your king, and Kaiwan, your star god, your images which you made for yourselves. Therefore I will take you into exile beyond Damascus, says the Most High, whose name is the God of hosts. Here 
ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please say the response after each verse. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Most High God, you bless us with your cup of salvation. You preserve the simple, and you have set us free from the bondage of sin. Guide us in your ways, and keep our feet on your paths. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.